Okay, I just um, do like to make a few things clear about it all because of um, plug ownership, because of lies, because of technology or lies. German states implemented against me. I do like to clear certain things in respect to my case. Uh, a German state did a lot of problems behind my back against me. They caused a lot of troubles and they involved all sort of parties against me to get me destroyed that's basically on German soil and abroad whichever way that was possible over the course of the time I no longer was needed and they wanted to do it in a such a fine way that I would just shrink like this into into dot and, and I would be gone that's what the plan of some anti-European royals along Berlin was really and for that matter they got allegiance from very unlikely parts of the world uh, such as Russia such as uh, Russia which had their own plans for me for my little country here from people here in Slovenia and Croatia, of course, as you know, and Bosnia and Ukraine. Um, but then again, Poland, wow. Uh, this one I am going to dedicate to this individual here. I'm going to dedicate this one to this clown here. This is a Dutch Netherlands Prime Minister Arute was man involved in MKUltra became involved since 1995 and literally accessed the world of politics because of my little physical look because of the way I look that's correct because the way I look Dutch Royals told me he is going to be in there so that the world can respect you so that Whenever you are they can think about him uh, see You through him see Him through you and so on. This is what this German politic Western politic was basically based upon uh, so he did play a certain role, the most disgusting one perhaps. Now, actually, I don't even know when it comes to disgusting where to start. Um, I, I just put it this way, all right? Today I posted this news here, and I did spend a lot of time I dedicated to the technology of lies, right? Uh, now, that was never aimed at Germany, never was aimed at Holland. Um, it's like this, look, the message I left for Ukraine today stated, a Dutch will come out with a financial proposal and uh, to make sure, let me demonstrate to you what exactly I had on my mind. I had on my mind this news here, this kind of stuff. Um, Zelensky did not quit from Crimea. He does not want Crimea to become permanent Russian territory stolen from Ukraine. He does not agree to any of that stuff. And this he does not agree to that despite Angela Merkel's visit during which she pressured Zelensky into collaboration with the Russia. Uh, Putin about to go on a spending spree for close to billion dollars to secure his elections in Russia again. 
Um, I think he would have won without even wasting a single dime. But the Germans do like to accent their roll, and uh, cash comes handy. If it's free, why the hell not? So there you have it. Now, the Angela Merkel's MK Ultra brainwash to me, and that's why I posted this stuff here. Dutch will come out with a financial proposal. Seems like Zelensky does not agree to Crimea, to Donetsk occupation, to become a face of new reality for Ukraine. Uh, and so I did left them a message that Dutch will come with a new proposal. Dutch, when I said Dutch, I mean Germans, really, not Dutch. They make sure to leave no argument for your territorial, territorial national rights in respect to Crimea and Donetsk. Don't let them purchase land in South Africa for the cost of the theft of your Crimea. Basically, here I'm going to jump in and uh, tell you exactly what Rute, uh, the guy you have seen, this Dutch Prime Minister, told me about how things are going to be played out. Uh, Rute and Merkel, Angela Merkel, you see the German politic is nothing more than a greater Dutch politic. That's all there is. Germany sees itself in a Holland um, Dutch colonial needs. Okay, let, let me be really, really in detail. Let me let me be detailed here. Let me explain exactly what's going on. I I am now citing Angela Merkel that you under MK Ultra the order to me that you are not going to say something. Uh, in respect to Crimea, Donetsk, we already have seen, probably this was 2018, maybe 2015, but I'm pretty sure 2017. Uh, you're not going to say, we already have seen that you uh, want uh, Ukraine to get back to the territory, uh, Crimea and Donetsk. That you're not going to set any more to that, do you understand? We make an agreement already with the Ukraine that we need Putin to go to South Africa, to colonize South Africa. That you're not going to say anymore, we have all this agreement for the Africa. That you're not going to say anymore anything, do you understand? We made an agreement already with the Ukraine to give them Crimea, Donetsk, give Russia, Crimea and Donetsk, that you're not going to say anything. So you made an agreement already with the uh, Ukrainian politicians, top politicians, Zelensky obviously and all others, Poroshenko and so on, that Crimea and Donetsk are not going to be given to the Russia so that you can go with the help of Vladimir Putin to the South Africa on a colonization spree, if I properly understand. And to that somehow, uh, which I completely have nothing to do in reality with this kind of politic, I understand, I might have even agreed to that kind of bullshit, and I'm sure I was video recorded, and that was the shit that was distributed to Ukraine, which, for what I was actually even told something later on, that, that the news like this came out, something like that. So now that's a double knife in my back, Mrs. Merkel. You, you really leave no place for negotiations of any kind. With your technology of lies, the way you do this kind of stuff, the way you want to play on a global stage, the way you will eliminate your adversaries. I did not know I am your adversary. I thought that we work together to help each other to bring the world closer. But it looks like you are indifferent from William and Harry since 2010, when we already got into, if we definitely would, if there wouldn't be other people next to them, into physical confrontations, despite my being drugged up. So I see that we have nothing going on here. So I see that we are just playing behind 
each other's back, feel the game like this. Actually, you do behind mine. There was nothing 26 years but backstabbing. From what I see, Mrs. Merkel. No, I absolutely never ever agreed to any kind of occupation of Crimea, of Donetsk. And I also never ever agreed to any kind of loss of Italian industry at expense of Germany. Nor did I ever agree in reality to loss of British industry or French industry or Spanish industry for that matter. Ever. So I get the point that I was stabbed through many directions that I was screwed in my back with all kinds of issues. For me to clear these issues and to push out the issue of anti-European kings, such as those Kaisers over there of the Germany also, not only William and Harry, and what it appears to be a Dutch king that is pushing forward at expense of European nations, a colonial politic, which Merkel told me eventually that made an agreement with the Ukrainian government sealed deal that they will give this to the Russians, so don't open your mouths. In fact, that later on, at later time, and later on, when they get the South Africa and all this, they're going to get Crimea and Donetsk back to Ukraine. Oh, Mrs. Merkel. Mrs. Merkel, what the word fuck you stands for? Explain to me this. And all this shit was video recorded, and I understand I agree to that kind of stuff. Mm. I absolutely do not agree with any of that. Hope that Ukraine is going to come forward as soon as possible, as well as other countries, to recognize this case so that we can have a private chat in respect to this stuff. It's another chat I want to have in respect to this anti-European kings. And it's not concerning only Dutch and British, William and Harry. It's also concerning German Kaisers thrown out of throne. It's concerning Mark Rutte's attitude in 2017, which totally played me down. Are we going to say this? It, it, if I will say the true, right? If I will say the true, then it will be nothing. Then we will pay very small, little, little, like few hundred million, maybe. Very little, nothing. Well, for the Germany, the claim is going to be 10 times the amount of what your Chancellor, German Chancellor, stated me, I think, in 2014, at this big Berlin a new spy agency in front of it, and she stated 5.5 billion. It's going to be 10 times the amount of that claim. Actually, these claims are going to be totally proportionate. Financial claims are going to be totally proportionate to Jeff Bezos, to Zuckerberg. They're going to be proportionate to Elon Musk's capital, based on my being a human being too, worthy no less than some Mark Rutte, or perhaps some German Kaiser, which never existed anywhere in reality. They never existed. They only existed with whenever I met them, once I met them inside of this castle that they wanted back, and all of a sudden it was like I was a Santa Claus in front of some family that started to behave with or display all the arrogance in front of me. What? We this, we that, we are we, 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 like... Uh, uh. And what the fuck you think I am? I post on my new site. Nicely I post it to you. I was nice to your British Charles and to your Elizabeth. That did nothing but pure whiskey. 
they fucking drink over there inside of this castle inside of this fucking Buckingham Palace over the course of the 26 years they only poured whiskey with the ice inside and loaded themselves with the cocktails drunks losers vagabonds that tried to play me down but Americans stole them in the face this is the man because of whom your capital because of the whom your geopolitical situation your global reputation which already was lost is reinstituted compared to what your past was under Elizabeth during his presence Great Britain moved forward with the speed of light. Ukrainians can tell you that Chinese can tell you that it was not only financial, it was not only the goods, the technology that flew from one country to another, the trade. Andrew can tell you how much per year they make with the Ukraine alone. It was the people they requested too, they wanted to have. It was more the value that Great Britain never ever had historically anywhere in the world that I raised and it wasn't only for the Britain it was also for the Germany and so for you to bring me some kind of vagabonds over there from whatever you have them some kind of uh, inheritance from lost world where they were kicked out of existence is a slap in my face this slap in my face was accompanied with a lot of plagiarship with the stuff that I did like for instance uh, Bezos and Musk the two good friends tried to insert in MK Ultra that the stuff I was doing in my life the journalism they were trying to take a credit for they filmed themselves inside of the fucking room with the stuff I was doing like they're teaching me about the stuff they try to steal everything from me they try to to take credit for absolutely everything which some said it's actually good because what they're trying to do such a powerful people they try to in a way take blame on their shoulder and they try to in a way promote you it's not true it's a bullshit I never made any mistake my politic was about united Europe. My politic was about European nations which are based on individuality and it should be based on a mutual sympathy, on a mutual cooperation, on a transition based on peace, friendliness, assistance to one another. Not on neo-Nazi borderless Europe on a Europe where people get divided on a brown-eyed, on a blue-eyed, on blonde-haired, on brown-haired Scandinavian model basically. This is never was my concept. If you go to Angela Merkel's page about her political party, it's all about Europe, Europe, Europe. That's bullshit. That's her vision about the Europe. I already have explained on my new side. My vision about Europe, about the world, is completely different than hers. And it's based on a respect for every individual nation in a character with its past history, due to which other interested party would create relationship within. I don't think that you can associate, I think you can marry to someone, I don't believe that you can go on with somebody unless you're interested in learning his, her language, if it's from another culture, another region, another state. Uh, culture and everything else I think you you it's got you, you got to be fit in every sense to marry that person I think this is the way also with the nations the yeah, European Union is much more than just idea 
it takes effort, it takes work, sacrifice, and understanding, and want to build something. And from what I have seen from the German side, I am nothing. I have absolutely nothing to do with a Dutch politic. I am not Mark Rutte. I am not Angela Merkel. I have absolutely nothing to do with any kind of colonial fascist idea at expense of other European nations backstabbing uh, a culture that already screw us up badly boy but it's about to set us even more apart 80 years ago this politic burned European continent to the ground and it did actually left world devastated with like 70 million lives lost globally I have nothing to do with this kind of politic off and to the Dutch William this dude here the son of this lady here who saw herself in me tremendously she liked me and she was extremely pleasant lady to be next to very nice polite and this is her son what I want to say to you, sir, in respect to your Prime Minister, Mark Rutte, who played me down, down uh, he tried to play me down in 2017 and then nothing. Let me explain to you something. It's too fucking bad I don't remember your kings and queens to be anywhere in these missions. Were just as Americans have told you, I um, I have undergone a thorough evaluations to secure your positions in this world, geopolitical, financial, trade-wise, and so that you're gonna fucking play me down like this into a dot that's gonna fucking disappear, so you can bring back some kind of royals that were gone off the stage due to wheel of German nation alone. They didn't want them anywhere. And even finance some Eastern European Vladimir Putin into some kind of Tsar and stuff like that. At my expense? You're fucking wrong about this, sir. Let me explain to you something. Ten times of what Angela Merkel stated, and this is for the Germany alone. With others, I'm going to set other record, and it's going to be expensive for British, because they allowed Buckingham Palace to use abduction, hijacking, rendition, assisted Berlin in hijacking, hijacking, abduction, renditions through Canada. It's going to be fucking expensive. I am not Slovenian, but also American citizen. And something you probably have forgotten about, Mr. Rutte.